find you know I'm, I'm a 20 stone rider so you know this won't have been Suki's do seem to work very well you know with a variety of different size riders on and we'll see when we hit the real twisty stuff what this what this handles like but you know it changes direction pretty well but you can tell I think over the horn that there's a little bit more weight there as I say this is a good sort of 10 kilos heavier than the Hornet but it still feels pretty agile pretty playful you know I'm wondering whether it actually feels a little bit more grunty than the Hornet a little bit more grunty in the mid-range like I say <laughs> I said I wasn't going to draw any comparisons with the Hornet but that's just sort of initial initial thoughts there we won't know for sure until we get them both out together look at the view look at that it's supposed to be some incredible views on this ride so I'm looking forward to taking those in oh the mountains there we're going up there into the mountains and what I do like about this is as I said at the beginning you know it feels like a bigger bike it feels like a 750 you know when, when you're riding the Hornet you think you have to remind yourself this is a 750 you know it's more sort of CB500 sized, isn't it? Whereas it feels a little bit more, I don't want to say grown up, but it feels bigger, you know? This feels like, I mean, I think the, C, the Hornet, I'm not slagging the Hornet, I think, I think it's fantastic, yeah? I think the Hornet's fantastic. And for seven grand, you know, it's, it's an amazing bit of kit. But I think maybe this feels a little bit more grown up less of uh you know less of less of a my first big bike if you like you know i don't think it so far you know we've yet to hit the real twisty stuff i don't think it perhaps is quite as playful as the hornet i think you can tell it's heavier you can tell it's a little bit a little less bit of a 10 horsepower down on the hornet and i i i feel like i could actually consider one of these so everyone's, everyone's buggered off look, I mean it's like I don't want to ride like a complete tool Cheers matey! Here we go, let's in for some twisties <laughs> it's, I've had the back go a couple of times, there's not masses of grip you know So you've got to bear that in mind <laughs> Oh yeah Oh yeah, here we go, now we're talking Quick shifter blipper is standard on this, so it's not it's not optional, it is standard. So this may be a thousand pound more expensive than the Hornet, but you do get the quick shifter and blipper as stock, you know. Woo oh yeah. Oh wow, this is gonna be an amazing day if the roads are gonna be like this all day. See, it does perhaps run out of puff a little bit at the top compared to the Hornet I said I wasn't going to compare this to the Hornet but it's impossible it's impossible not to oh, look at the views to the right there look at that you've got three power modes you know the ABC but all with the same power but just different throttle responses you know exactly like the V-Strom you know, and the moment I've got it in the A, I've got it in the most aggressive. And there's a definite, there's a definite sort of noticeable feel when you go through those. But I mean, that, I've been in, I've been riding through town. <laughs> oh, front brakes are also good. I've been riding through town, and even the A, it's what I think is one of those bikes. Really, you you just put it in the A, really, and you, and you live with it. You know, wow look at that up there it's incredible what a road this is i want to stop and take some pictures wow 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 that's amazing there they are i could see them look going up going up there bloody hooligans you mean you don't want to get it wrong here I mean, bikes like the MT-07, you know, they, they you wouldn't be able to take them and thrash them around and chuck it around like you can on, like I'm doing on this. The suspension feels, you know, this is still, you know, it's an eight grand bike. It's still, you know, a, a budget middleweight, you know, 
but it, it's definitely got some premium feel to it you know it, that suspension's decent it may be non-adjustable but it's set up nicely and you've got the confidence to throw it around and it, it goes side to side nicely the engine's torquey wow 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 These roads are fantastic around here. Absolutely. That was good. What, what incredible views. Wow. On the power. It's quite bumpy as well, giving the suspension a real good test out here. And yeah, there's no, even with me on it, 20 stone, I say again, or 19 and a half now. Because I've been on a bit of a health kick. Well, I was over twice, you say I was 20 stone, but I was, I was 21 stone at one point. But even with me on it, you know, not not your average size rider by any means. You know, I'm still I'm still the suspension's still coping, you know, it's not wallowing out, it's not bottoming out. That's tightening up, grip the tank. Down on the blipper, Ugh, wet patches. <laughs> on the power, more wet patches. Yeah, it's impressive. It's certainly got the fun factor, you know, and, and that, the presentation last night from the Japanese, they said it was all about building fun, you know, building fun into this motorcycle. And it, there's not even huge amounts of sort of weight transfers I'm on and off the brakes as well. Yeah, and, and I'm breaking, I'm to break very sharply here. These aren't particularly flowing roads, they're bumpy. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is good. They're like rock formations and tunnels through the rocks up here. I'll put the camera on when we do the, I'm going to do the photos back and forth a little bit now, a little bit of guffage with photos. But um, yeah, it's absolutely stunning. So this is Route Napoleon. What I'll do, it's so stunning, I'll find out what the road names are and I'll, and I'll put them in the description of the video so you can sort of follow this route. 07, which is an older design, obviously it's been refreshed, you know, in that time. But this is obviously a new bike, whole new bike ground up. And the thing about this is, you know, it doesn't feel that the, the Hornet's brilliant, great bike, £7,000, fantastic. And it is more, I'd say it's a bit more fun than this, the Hornet as well. The Hornet is not too small. This middleweight market is just full of bikes which are tiny, you know, to, to achieve that real low weight, you know. This is why this is 202 kilos, because it's a more substantial machine, you know. So, uh, which I like being a bigger guy. So if you're a bigger guy and you're looking for a middleweight, this is definitely, I would say, the one to have. And it doesn't feel like a, a budget machine. <laughs> you wouldn't dream of pushing like, an MT-07 like this, you know? It, it does feel like it's got decent suspension, decent, you know, I think this is the chassis more than anything. I think the chassis is really, really good here. <laughs> and that's what all of the, you know, all the journos have been saying. You know, the chassis is what's making this bike. It's new chassis. Oh, that's a bit tight, isn't it? Woo! Yeah, this is... Uh, fairly decent pace here you know you can move around on the seat you've got a decent bit of grip from the tank as well but it's that mid-range is where the power is and like I say it does tail off a little bit as the revs increase that's the pegs down with my weight on them oh, but look at this man this is just unbelievable
bit like a severe sort of pothole you get a little bit of jarring through the suspension it's, it's definitely a sporty ride it's been set up to be sporty this you know whether that will be too sporty you know on the UK potholed roads I don't know we'll have to see when we get one for a sort of a, more of a long-term test in the UK but on these beautiful Alpine can we call these Alpine are we near the Alps I think so Alpine roads oh it's phenomenal there's plenty of support even for 20 stone fatty I just like a little bit more preload in the rear I think it's quite hard to get to the preload adjuster on the sh like a bloody track day drive 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 loads of drive out the corners so it's almost like one of those bikes you're leaving a higher gear and you a bit like the uh, R1250 RS I was riding the other week you know leaving a higher gear and use the torque rather than revving it out it's definitely a torquey, a really torquey motor on this this is a proper little weapon this proper little weapon this is fun, this is a lot of fun really good brakes as well as I say lacking a little bit of initial bite perhaps but you know once you're on them absolutely fine I mean I wouldn't be pushing like this if the brakes weren't decent you know didn't have confidence in Jesus this is this is incredible an incredible ride riding the pants off of this a oh, gentle little run wasn't it I mean look at look at the views up there little monastery at the top of that I mean it's, it's incredible around here route but the bike you want to know about the bike not so much the route about the bike I've been really really impressed with the GSX 8S I'm finally getting there learning how to say it it's, uh, I mean, the biggest competitor for this machine, you know, the new bike for this year is the Hornet. So, you know, you can't really review, I think, this bike, even though I'm going to do a comparison with Greg when we go back to back with these machines, you know, I can't really give you my verdict on this without giving you a little bit of a comparison with them. You know, th this would be the one I would probably buy out of the two. With the Hornet, when you jump on it, it does, it is, it is a really fun motorcycle. And it actually, it doesn't look like it's going to be a really fun motorcycle. I mean, it looks a little bit bland, the Hornet, doesn't it? Whereas this, this definitely looks better. I know, of course, you know, it's all in the eye of the beholder, isn't it? The looks, but I definitely think this looks like a more fruity machine than the Hornet. You know, what has been impressive with this machine is, you know, it is built to a budget. It is a thousand pound more expensive than the Hornet. Let's not forget. Let's not forget that this bike is a thousand pound more expensive than the Hornet. Let's also not forget that this bike is 10 kilos heavier than the Hornet and it's a thousand pound more expensive. Now those are the facts, those are the facts. But, you know, this is a bigger bike, which I think accounts for the extra weight. You know, it's, um, yeah, it feels like a more accomplished package. The suspension's definitely better. We couldn't have ridden the Hornet around here like we've ridden like we've ridden this to be perfectly honest you know this has been ridden that ride but i don't know how much i can even show but the ride your money and you take your choice but don't dismiss the gsx s 